He used to run a restaurant at Lake Street's front door. Yes. Now Luis Teme very delicious. <laughs> serves food Gracias. in an alley. Hola, buenas. Hasta luego. We have to make money some. We have to do something. El Sabor Chuchi was Luis's old place. Part of a mom and pop strip of Lake Street businesses. I used to um, clean the tables. That's Henry, Luis's son. He used to spend all day there. Who grew up with his dad within these walls. I must say, yeah. All of it gone as Lake Street burned following George Floyd's death. My friend, he called me. Hey, your restaurant is on fire. This is what greeted Luis the next morning. Me and my family were crying when we saw. Luis had already been struggling with the COVID restrictions that also stole hours from his wife as a hotel housekeeper. Then, this. He, like, stopped eating. He got really sad because all his hard work. Hard work instilled in Luis growing up in Ecuador, where at 11, he left his family to work at a banana plantation. Then, at 19, followed his brother to Minneapolis, settling into Lake Street's Hispanic community, washing dishes at a Greek restaurant. That's why I put the gyros. <laughs> learning to cook and aspiring to own his own restaurant. You were pursuing the American dream. American dream, and actually, they come true. Now, the trailer represents Luis's dream. Gracias. Renewed. It's helping a lot. Está bien, está bien. Hasta luego. It was purchased with a $24,000 grant from the Lake Street Council. Gracias. Luis parked it behind the little grocery store he opened weeks before the rioting. His market looted, but spared from the fires. Listo. 90% of Luis's customers are Ecuadorian. Sí. <laughs> they took the loss of Luis's restaurant. Personal. Hi, Nelly Lapa is a regular at the trailer. We support him, you know, to encourage him to build it again. And Nelly okay. is far from alone. A GoFundMe page started by Luis's nephew has raised more than $100,000. Money Luis plans to use to get out of the trailer and back in a restaurant. He's waiting to see what comes of his old location. And when we talked before the Chauvin verdict, was still leery of more unrest. They don't feel safe here right now. But Luis knows no pasar. the time no, so. will come. You feel good when you, people are happy, when, you, when they eat your food. We want to feel that way again. To some, just a trailer in an alley. To Luis, a fresh start. Gracias. On a path forward. Mm -hmm. Boyd Hooper, Carol Evan News, Minneapolis. If you'd like to check out Luis's food trailer, we've posted the address in this article at carolevin.com. You'll also find a link to his Facebook page with his hours.